I got some stuff and we're gonna unbox it. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You are watching UAM Collectibles. If this is your first time here and you like Funko Pops, anime, designer toys, all that kind of stuff, you're in the right spot. For Hurricane Lore, I was dropping two videos a week. Kind of backtracked and downgraded a little bit to once a week, but we're trying to get to a comfortable two videos a week again because I, I love doing this. All right, so recently I went on a little small vacation to Texas and linked up with my buddy Dr. Applesauce. You may or may not know him, but uh, we had a good time. We visited and uh, we went around and he showed me some shops and we bought some stuff and I bought some stuff. And I'm gonna show some of that off, but I also have some mail from uh, the Blizzard store. And I also have a awesome Ein t-shirt bundle that I wanna open up and uh, do some t-shirt magic because uh, I think t-shirt magic is awesome. Uh, Ricky doesn't like it, but I do. <laughs> and we're gonna just see what all I got. Um, and I'm excited, so let's go ahead and start. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna look at is this Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, babe. Um, Ricky's calling. Ricky's calling. Okay, well I better answer that. Y'all come say hi. Hey, hold on, Ricky. Hi. Hold on, Ricky. Hi. Hi. Hey, Ricky, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the pop tea. So I'm gonna do T-shirt magic. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My buddy, the pop analyst, he has a giveaway for hitting 500 followers on Instagram. Yeah, he sent me one. I'm gonna. Yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, let, let me just call you back. Thanks. That was my kids, by the way. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys remember them or not, but that was small mite and tiny mite. They've gotten so big. Anyways, this is the t-shirt bundle for Cowboy Bebop. It is Ein from Cowboy Bebop. I think it was New York Comic Con exclusive. I can't remember. But my buddy over on Instagram, the pop analyst, he is having a 500 follower giveaway and he's giving away a double X of this. He sent me a 3X because uh, he got too many. <laughs> so uh, he knows my size is 3X and he enjoys the t-shirt magic that we have on the channel. So uh, he sent me one and I was like, you know what? You have a giveaway going. I'm gonna let people know. So maybe we can get you some more followers. So why don't you guys go follow the pop analyst on Instagram and uh, enter to win this t-shirt bundle, this exact t-shirt bundle that I'm about to show you guys. Show them some love, tell them I sent you, and uh, yeah, maybe win yourself one of these irons. As expected, t-shirt bundles are always damaged. I don't know if it's just the way they ship these things, it's like a thin little cardboard box, but they always end up damaged, for me at least. So it's really hard to find a mint box on these, and uh, I'm expecting nothing less, so here we go, three, two, one, what? And there we go, this is Ein. The Flocked 2020 Fall Convention Limited Edition Funko Pop. I don't have any of the Cowboy Bebop stuff, mainly because it's just, it's just too pricey. It's too pricey, too expensive. Thank you, Mr. Pop Analyst, for sending this over to me. I love this, man. The little Corgi. Oh, this show is great, too. It's, it's short, it's easy to follow, and it's very dramatic, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, check it out. Check out. Cowboy Bebop, and please check out the pop analyst on Instagram, and you could win this. All right, so now we're gonna do some t-shirt magic, and I have the 3XL shirt, and uh, I just love t-shirt magic. <laughs> my manager hates t-shirt magic. He says it ruins my videos analytics because no one watches it, but oh man, this shirt is sweet. Check it out, I'm awesome. That is a awesome, awesome shirt. I love this. All right, let's put the shirt on, ready? Three, two, what are you doing? Oh, wrong corgi. I want the corgi shirt, not the corgi dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try this again. Three, two, one. Okay, there it is, the Ed and Ein shirt. Very, very cool, I like it. I like the color scheme, and of course Funko shirts. I just love Funko shirts, they feel, they feel great. They're like comfy and loose and, I don't know, I, I like them a lot. Thank you so much for the shirt, man. Again, go follow this guy on Instagram. Have a chance to win this. So we went to Texas, and uh, while we were there, we went Funko Pop hunting, and I found actually found two pops that, that I needed and wanted and couldn't find anywhere. I did have the opportunity to buy this pop online, but uh, I hate box lunch shipping, man. I hate it. It's so bad. Like, sometimes it's in a box, sometimes it's in a 
bag with a sorter and I just didn't want to risk it because this is one of the lines that I really, really like to collect. But I picked up the Naruto eating noodles. So this pop is pretty cool. So there's a Goku eating noodles and a Vegeta eating noodles. And uh, it only makes sense that they make Naruto eat noodles because he just loves ramen. He just loves it. So this was kind of inevitable. Like there was no way that they weren't going to make this pop, <laughs> at least in some form or fashion. And uh, I think they did well. It's, it's really cool. I, I love the Naruto set. One of my first and most watched videos is one of my Naruto videos. It's just something I really, really enjoy. The line is vast and I started at a good time. <laughs> the middle of 2019 throughout the entirety of 2020, they actually started pumping out a lot of Naruto stuff. And I've actually been able to keep 100%, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, I really love this line. I really love this set. And this is no exception. I, I love the pop. It's, it's really awesome. It, it, it fits the theme. So kudos Funko for making something that makes sense. So uh, Dr. Applesauce decided to take me to a, uh, a really big comics and collectible store. It's called Madness Games. And it's like Madness Comics and Games or something like that. But he took me to the shop and it was really huge place. And they had a really good deal on their everything in the store. It was like buy two, get one free. I finally found this guy right here. This is Garo from One Punch Man. It is the specialty series glow in the dark. I think the only thing that glows on this guy is his eyes. <laughs> really, really lazy variant, but uh, it's the same. There's a common of this, and it's the exact same as the common, except, you know, his eyes glow. Uh, if you haven't seen this show, I highly recommend it. There's only two seasons, so there's not a lot of episodes, but it's really fun to watch. So, like, if you're not really an anime fan and you want to watch something that's super sarcastic and super extravagant, watch One Punch Man. It really makes fun of a lot of the superhero tropes that you see in all these superhero shows and comics, and it just takes it to the next level of how ridiculous it can be sometimes. So it's one of my favorite shows. This is a really cool pop. I need to find the common. And when I find the common, I'll be 100% on the One Punch Man set. So expect a video of that whole set in the future. The last thing I picked up there in Texas was from Dr. Applesauce himself. He bought this for me because there was a small restock of it. And he knows I collect symbiotes and I was at work. He tried pinging the mess out of me in our little chat there. And I just never saw it. But he picked up the Carnage. What is this? The Blacklight Carnage? Is that what they're calling this set? This line? Um, yeah, this is the Blacklight Carnage from Funko. It is a Funko Shop limited edition exclusive. And uh, yeah, he picked it up for me. Very kind of him. And this is really, really awesome. I think the box is cooler than the pop itself. Yeah, this is awesome. So the tendrils are all pink instead of red on Carnage and the black is actually blue. So that's neat and his eyes are, I guess that's like highlighter yellow. And his mouth, it looks like his tongue and his gums are orange. So that is a really cool pop. I really enjoy that. Whenever I get my full collection back in the house, I wanna see which Carnage this is actually uh, the mold of because the original Carnage doesn't look this detailed and this cool I think this is modeled after the New York Comic Con Carnage with the tendrils I think that's where they this is the same mold as that so that is really cool. Thank you so much, man All right, these last two boxes here um, There's a lot of controversy about these pops. These are the World of Warcraft special edition Blizzard Event. I don't even know what event it was, but it was an event special edition very limited time the controversy about these pops uh, The truck that was leaving Funko delivering these to Blizzard got into a very very bad accident and uh, Kind of destroyed the entire trailer full of these things We don't know if this is going to mess with how limited these things are, but I've seen horrible pictures of the the wreck itself and all the inventory out on the ground. And then on top of that, I've seen people get their shipments from Blizzard Store or BlizzardGear.com where the packages were just mauled, either by shipping or Blizzard themselves just not caring and just throwing it in there. But I've seen mauled boxes. I've seen actual ripped up boxes inside of a shipping box. Like the, the Funko Pop boxes were ripped destroyed figures like they were smashed it was just crazy it was just crazy like the pictures that i've seen i'm gonna show them up here but these pictures look more like <laughs> 
I don't know if it was self-inflicted or what, but this looks much worse than what would be expected. I don't know what's going on in this picture, but the OP, the original poster who posted these pictures, said that USPS damages his stuff a lot. But if you look there, you can see that the box, yeah, the box is mangled, but it, it's not damaged enough to do that to those pops. Like, those pops are cracked and busted and shattered, and the, like, pop boxes are ripped? Like, th what? That doesn't happen from shipping. I, I, I don't know what's going on there. So yeah, hopefully mine don't look that bad. I mean, the boxes themselves are in pretty good shape, and they're not in that really big box that you saw in that picture. So I don't know what's going on, but let's go ahead and open these up and see what's going on. Hopefully uh, my luck is better than that, guys. All right, so here we are. And box number one has the pop, no protector, of course. I mean, they're not a pop seller. They are a merchandise seller, but they at least put butcher paper in there to block it all up. And this one is Sylvanus. There is a minor, okay, yeah, there, there's a minor ding right down here. So there's a little minor ding right here. Nothing too big, nothing too bad. Uh, that's it. Of course, there's like some a little small bowing here, but that's easily fixed. Um, there's a little crease down at the bottom. That's that's to be expected though. But this pop is sweet looking. Man, I really dig that metallic. It's like a different color of purple too. So it's like a little like a magenta-ish purple, like more of a pink purple. But that looks really good. Really, really good. So yeah, this is really cool. This is a Funko Blizzard Entertainment exclusive. So really, really happy with that. That is sick. All right, let's open up this one. Uh, maybe there's maybe there's two in this one. I'm not sure. We are gonna find out though. That's a tight fit. It doesn't feel like there's two in here. I don't think there's two. Oh, <laughs> it is not two. <laughs> and uh, they sent this one just in the box. There's no butcher paper. No air bubbles, and uh, wow, this one's more mint than the Sylvanas. <laughs> oh man, yeah, this one has no damage on the box, but uh, this one is Illidan. This one is really cool. Okay, so this one also has a metallic purple color, but it is a little bit more purplish than the magenta from uh, Sylvanas. Uh, really cool, man. The horns are all a different color metallic. The skin is different color metallic, and his hair, his girdle, everything, his, his leggings, all different colors, really, really good looking. I'm assuming his wings match his skin. I can't see it's still in the box as I'm talking to you. So yeah, I'm still waiting on the Murloc. Hopefully I get it. It's discontinued, like I said, but uh, hopefully they didn't discontinue it before taking my money because uh, I haven't got a shipping confirmation on these. So I didn't even know that these shipped. I just showed up from Texas and boom, they were on my doorstep. Um, hopefully, hopefully we get that Merlot. Okay, so quick update. I just checked my email and I just found out that uh, Blizzard Gear Store sent me an email regarding my Murloc. It said, thank you for shopping with Blizzard Entertainment. Your loyalty and patronage are very important to us. We are writing today to notify you that your order has been delayed and to provide an important update to you as to the status of your order. Unfortunately, an unforeseen transportation challenge has impacted our ability to meet shipping expectations for your order. So basically, they refunded me four USD per Blizzard exclusive Funko Pop purple Murloc figurines. Oh, and it says to expect that order by Friday, April 16th, 2021. Alright, so what do you think about the haul? Was it a good haul? Which one was your favorite? I think my favorite pop out of all of them was Sylvanas. She's just, she's super good looking. Super good looking. Really, really enjoy it. Alright, so quick shout out to my Ultra Members Club members. Thank you guys so very much for believing in me. You support everything I do. I thank you guys so very much for that. Love you guys so very much. You might want to keep your eye out on Dr. Applesauce's channel because you might see this face in a video or two of his. We had a good time. We had a lot of fun. I didn't shoot anything because I kind of wanted to enjoy myself and just, you know, vacay for a little while. So I didn't shoot anything. That's why I'm showing you guys this and not the actual footage. But uh, I had a lot of fun. You will see me though on Dr. Applesauce's channel and we had a really good time. All right guys, if you like what you saw today, hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends, and always remember, catch you on the flip side.